Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm really excited to bring you the new theme wizard for Inventory Cog. Let's go ahead and jump right into this. So if you go now to Tools and I'll say Inventory Theme Wizard, you'll see this new dialog that's going to go ahead and create a new theme for you in just a few clicks. Uh, so all of this is sort of the same standard stuff that you would have gone through manually creating the theme, but it's going to generate the UI for you and a whole bunch of prefabs as well. Uh, so we'll just do new theme, um, demo theme. This is the spawn tag. Remember, um, when you're putting in your UI, your canvas needs to have a tag now so it knows where to spawn everything because everything is spawned instead of activated. Uh, in the old version, we allowed you to activate items. Now with themes, everything gets spawned on use. Uh, so inventory UI is what we're using in the canvas. So we'll use that as the spawn tag. We'll allow click to select. We'll use item counts with a minimum of five. This is the same item text setup and rarities. And this is where things start to get fun. This is going to guide us through setting up all of our different windows. Um, so we'll just go through and do a couple of here. We'll do uh, by key for inventory and we'll open it and close it both with the I key. We'll enable drag and drop. We'll use the item manager. We'll show context buttons, item detail, item preview, character preview. Uh, for the item manager, we'll close that um, with the X key. We'll show repair costs the item container. So this is containers that are inside of your inventory. Uh, we'll do a scroll grid. We'll include the category list, drag and drop, context buttons, all the same. We'll also show the player's inventory. Um, for crafting, you've got the choice between normal and blind crafting. Blind crafting is sort of like the Minecraft crafting where you don't see the recipe. You just Throw in your items and it, it will either succeed or fail. You can tell it to destroy it if it fails. Um, they always use singles when you select a, an item to put into it. it. It will always only put in one if you check this. If you don't, then if you have enough, it can do the count selector to go, all right, well, let's put in five of these or, or whatever. I'm going to go with normal. I'll show the detail menu, the crafting queue, context button, and recipe details. <coughs> Merchant menu, same thing. So these are all uh, very similar, but you can change the different grids, right? You can do a scroll grid, a page grid, or a regular list. And it doesn't matter if you change your mind, because we actually create all of these prefabs for you, even if you don't use them. So you'll just be able to drag and drop it in uh, if you change your mind down the road. And now we're going to hit finalize. That's it. We're done. We're going to tell it where we want to create all of this. Um, we'll just do it at the root of our, our assets, right? Where it's going to be new theme, because that's what we named it. And in a moment here, once it's done creating all the prefabs, there we go. So we've got this new folder called new theme. We've got the theme already set up for us. And then let's just take a look at all of these prefabs we've made for you. Just tons and tons of items. We've even set up render textures for um, rendering the char character preview or the item preview. This is going to save so much time getting a new theme up and running. Now, the theme itself, uh, the default template, it's not that pretty, but that's okay. That's, that's where you come in and move around some transforms and um, you know put in your different backgrounds and things like that. So what we're going to do is... We're right here in the normal demo UI. Um, so what we have loaded is the uh, examples, inventory cog, or inventory and stats RPG. And all we, we've done is we've selected the inventory DB and slapped on the new theme. And that means it's instantly going to be available for us to use. So if we just hit play, We've got the new theme, and here it is. So you can see this isn't pretty at all, right? But it's set up for you. You've got your lists. 
Um, you've got your, your category grid and a whole bunch of other stuff ready to work. And you can see your items. Here's the context buttons that are coming up for it. And, you know, all you've got to do here is style things up a little bit. So we'll do inventory, we'll close it, and we'll jump in and have a look at how easy it is to go ahead and make changes to this. So, in, in fact, you know what? We can do this at runtime. Let's do it at runtime. Let's go back to the new theme and we'll open it up and we'll have a look. Here's our canvas. Here's our spawned inventory theme. And we can take a look at what's going on here. So the inventory menu has been spawned for us. It's not overriding. It's using the I keys just like we said it should. We've got this window. All of these prefabs are made to be full screen to begin with, except for a few of the windows um, are sized down. But you can change them, right? That's why we've got, so this top level thing is full screen. And then we've got a window inside of it. And we can just change the rec transform. And now we've got it stylized the way we want for that, let's say. Um, and we can drill down into, let's go into the inventory itself. So this player preview is, is showing us the player, or would if we had a camera facing our player, right? But it's got the render texture all set up. It's got the item preview is all set up. Um, item details, etc. So if we go into this item scroll grid and into the content, we can see all of these clones of the item UI. And this looks ugly because I've thrown in pretty much everything that you could ever use uh, and tried to fit it into this tiny space. But, you know, what we can do here is, is first of all, um, you know, this is just a horizontal layout grid. We can pull that out of the grid and move it around. Um, we can change the backgrounds of these guys. So we can do, here's the RPG item slot. Um, and we've got this ugly color over it because of the selection indicator. So let's do, uh, let's find one of our selectors. There we go. Item outline. Okay, so now we've got this changed item and let's say we don't need the item name. Don't need it, don't want it. We don't need the item weight or the value. We'll keep the uh, color icon. We'll kill the slider. We'll kill the condition slider. We'll kill the tag container. And if this is if this is how we want it, once we've got, gotten it ready, we can just find it down here in the components folder, and you can see item detail or item UI right here. Item UI grid and item UI list. This is a grid one. So we replace the prefab and it's done. That's it. At runtime, open, close. We're ready to go. And it's that way with all of the different components. So yeah, you still need to take some time to learn some of the different systems. And you know, there's definitely UI setup time here, but all of these components are ready for you. We've got 40 different components plus. Right, we've got action buttons. And so this is like a, a centralized place. And, and you can change this as well, right? Let's say, you know, we don't need it to be like that. We can do 300 by 220 or whatever. And then go through and stylize that button. Once you do, it's stylized every single place that is used button, because these are nested prefabs. Action slot indicators, action slots themselves, category UI. And you can see some of this isn't perfect. We haven't, we've got these offsets on this one, which is probably why those were showing off a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fast and easy to get these themes up and running now. I really think this is going to save you a lot of time and I hope that you enjoy it.